in this program i'm just trying to introduce because many times the people find the learners normally find that why do we why do they need to learn c++ and how it is going to help them i'm just trying to tell them that every instance whatever they say that can be created uh, with the help of a class like uh, everything whatever you see this is just one instance so the whole world is uh, modeled on the basis of the object oriented programming here in this program i'm just trying to explain you that how to find time period time period you know that the t is given as time period t is 2 pi under root l by g so and the uh, time period depends on the length of the pendulum and the acceleration due to gravity of that place so what happens that in this program if you know that if you make a simple time period simple pendulum with a simple length of the pendulum and then you place it on the earth on the moon on the jupiter so since all these places the value of g will change so this time period will also change so this way you can model the time period because now i'm just trying to show you this so i have declared a class time period with the variable int l double g g is acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square on surface of earth and near equator and the public then this is a constructor time period int x double y and then x goes into l and the y goes into y so l and g has been assigned now i just declare one function for calculations and then i think that in this class only i'll create one variable and where i'll store the time period so means the time period for that given length of pendulum and for the given value of the acceleration due to gravity so here it is now i just try to calculate so better i need a function to calculate and then i need to show same way if you see in the physics uh, in chemistry all calculations they are just uh, just formulas so you can make instances of all of them just to calculate what actually Newton's law of motion, Poiseuille's formulas, Bernoulli's theorem, then anything kinetic theory of gases, all these can be modeled with the help of formulas and all these formulas which help you like PV equal to NRT. So you can enter these values into and you can make a class, you can make the object of that. So all these things are possible. The problem here with the C++ literally is that the C++ on this compiler is not doing very well with the graphics but if you go with the python then you can create the more positive uh, applications and then you can introduce the graphical and animations also so that makes more uh, like the powerful tool just to explain your idea so i have created one functions called as void time period and one for void show so let me define it void time period scope resolution operator then i'll define okay i think let me change it to something calculation kind of because it's a very big name and it is just doing calculation so i think word cal will be cal for calculation so the cal and the function the formula i'm using is t equal to 2 pi under root l by g so pi is involved so it should be a double variable so tp is already doubled so 2 pi so 2 into 3.15142 something kind of this so t equal to 2 pi so i need to put the 2 pi so 2 into 3.1452 something like that if it is not exact then also 5 3.14 is correct to 2 plus of decimal and then sqrt function so because t is 2 pi under root l by g so sqrt and l upon g yes so now this function is just simply calculating so you know the, in the class time period we have one variable tp so this function when, it, when it's being called it will initialize the variable tp which is double size with the value of time period now just show so you can show the length you can show acceleration due to gravity and the time period whatever you feel like so now i just want to sh show length of pendulum so for this i'll write c out length of pendulum and this is stored into the variable l so 
L semicolon then C out planet planet just write acceleration into gravity planet acceleration due to gravity and that is represented by z small z and then i think length of the pendulum is not required but you can length is it's fine because user can understand that if the length is increased now it's just printing the time period so time period equal to and it is stored into the variable tp so now int main function and then i'll create the object get cs return zero these are the common features return zero then i create the object of the class time period so time period and then object is ts and i pass the length of pendulum so 1 meter is fine 1 meter 1 meter is good length and we are using si system so 1 comma 9.8 so this acceleration due to gravity at earth ts dot cal and then ts dot show so now i run and then you see let me save this rename it so what to call it time period so i named it and i compile it no error no oh, two warnings are there so time period must be having a struct so what is the error sqrd okay so i need to introduce include math dot h so now you just compile it there is no error now run it and there it goes and then you say this is length of pendulum 1 and the time period is 2.009395 thank you very much just watch the next video